CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission, and it's quite different from the traditional automatic transmissions you might be familiar with. Unlike your regular automatic with fixed gears, these things operate on a completely different principle. Imagine a rubber band stretched between two cones. As the cones move closer or further apart, the band shifts its position. This movement allows the CVT to provide an infinite number of gear ratios, unlike traditional systems that have a set number of gears. That's the basic idea behind a CVT. It's all about providing a seamless driving experience. Now, you might be thinking, why bother with this fancy rubber band setup? What's the big deal? Well, there are several reasons why car makers are so keen on these. CVTs. They offer a smoother ride and better fuel efficiency. Fuel economy is a big one, but we'll get into that later. It's one of the main selling points for many modern vehicles. For now, just remember, CVTs are all about smooth and stepless gear changes, making your drive more comfortable and efficient. The main draw of a CVT is its smooth operation. Forget about feeling those clunky gear shifts. CVTs are all about seamless acceleration, like gliding on buttered ice. This makes for a comfortable ride, especially in stop and go traffic. Another big plus is fuel efficiency. Because CVTs can constantly adjust to the engine's sweet spot, they squeeze out the best possible mileage. If you're watching your pennies at the pump, a CVT might sound pretty appealing. Plus, they're often cheaper to manufacture than traditional automatics, which can mean lower prices for you. Now, before you rush out and buy a car with a CVT, there are some downsides you should be aware of. One common complaint is the rubber band effect, which can be quite frustrating for many drivers. When you accelerate hard, the engine revs high, but the car doesn't feel like it's accelerating as quickly as you would expect. It's like the engine is struggling to catch up with itself, creating a disconnect between the engine and the wheels. For petrol heads like myself, this lack of immediate response can be a real downer, taking away from the driving experience. CVTs just don't provide that satisfying surge of power you get with a traditional automatic, or even better, a manual gearbox, which many driving enthusiasts prefer, plus that constant droning sound at high revs. Not exactly music to my ears, and it can get quite annoying on long drives. Feeling the heat common CVT issues. CVTs, like any transmission, can have their fair share of problems. One of the biggest culprits is overheating. Because they rely on fluid pressure and friction, CVTs generate a lot of heat. If the transmission fluid isn't properly maintained, things can get toasty, leading to costly repairs. Another common issue is belt wear. Remember that rubber band we talked about? Well, over time, it can stretch, wear down, or even snap. And when that happens, you're looking at a hefty repair bill. Regular maintenance is key to keeping your CVT happy and healthy. When CVTs go wrong, real-world examples. Take, for instance, the Nissan Murano, a perfectly capable crossover except for its CVT, which has been known to act up. Owners have reported everything from shuddering and slipping to complete transmission failure, not exactly what you want from a family car. Then there's the Honda Jazz, a popular choice for city dwellers. While generally reliable, its CVT has also had its fair share of issues, particularly with early models. From jerky acceleration to overheating problems, it seems even Honda hasn't quite cracked the CVT code. CVT, a love-hate relationship? So are CVTs good or bad? It's a question that has sparked many debates among car enthusiasts and everyday drivers alike. Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. There are both advantages and disadvantages to consider. They offer smooth acceleration and excellent fuel economy, which is great for everyday driving. This makes them particularly appealing for city commuters and those who prioritize efficiency, but they can also feel sluggish and unresponsive, especially if you enjoy a bit of spirited driving. The lack of gear shifts can make the driving experience feel less engaging. Ultimately, the decision of whether to go for a CVT depends on your priorities. Are you looking for a practical, fuel-efficient vehicle, or do you crave a more dynamic driving experience? If fuel efficiency and a comfortable ride are your top concerns, a CVT might be a good fit. They are designed to provide a seamless driving experience, which can be very appealing for long trips and daily commutes. But if you crave driving excitement and engagement, you're better off with a traditional automatic, or dare I say it, a proper manual gearbox. 
These options offer more control and a more connected feel to the road. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with a racetrack and a car that knows how to shift gears the old-fashioned way. There's nothing quite like the thrill of manual shifting on a winding track.